access modifiers are basically used to define the visibility or the accessibility of a apex class or a variable or a method in salesforce there are four main access modifiers available in salesforce that is public global private and protected by default the private is access modifier for your class or your variable or your method by default the modifier is private now what is the difference between public global private and protected so public as its name indicates if you create your class and put the access modifier as public or you create your variable and put the access modifier as public your method as public that means that class can be accessed outside of that class okay let me give you a, gen a generic example there is a building right and uh, there is a society and under that society there are multiple buildings and then there is a swimming pool so that swimming pool is a public property and that can be accessed by any person that can be accessed by any person which is living in that society that is a public property and can be accessed anyone similarly if you define your apex class as a public your apex class can be accessed outside of your apex class inside that salesforce org only inside that salesforce org only it cannot be accessed outside of your salesforce org for example you have two different org and you created one org in your salesforce org which is public that cannot be accessed into the second org which is not related at all even if it is related if that class is not present you cannot access that org that is one thing for this public so public is only to access the class within that salesforce org only global is something which can be accessed within your salesforce org as well and that can be accessed outside of your salesforce org as well depends on the setting that you have developed for that class so now taking the same example you have one class you have another class or you have one salesforce environment and there is a different system it could be milsoft heroku any system that needs to access your salesforce org in that case you need to make that class as global you cannot make that class as public global names that your class needs to be declared as global and it has to be accessed outside of your salesforce org private is as its name indicates it's a private property no one can access it this cannot access outside of your apex class as well now forget about salesforce org it cannot access outside of your apex class we have covered everything into we have covered everything into the detail into coming videos where we talked about oops concepts so don't bother about that for now just focus on the definitions and try to understand if you don't understand this please don't get panicked it happens when you start your uh, career pause the video take a deep breath and maybe take a break come back and listen to this again protected is the concept which i have explained beautifully in the one one of the lecture so i'm going to skip this protected as of now because we don't know much about uh, the concepts of uh, salesforce and other things as well so that's what we had as part of public global private and protected now the last part of this uh, video is i know that it has been more than an hour so i'll keep it short now get family uh, family uh, familiarizing to the dev tools and uh, our preferred preferred way is going to be vs code you could write the code into the vs code you could write the code into the developer console as well developer console again is an inbuilt ide integrated development environment provided by salesforce which we have already seen and we have already accessed now if you wanted to create an apex class or apex trigger or anything you will have to go to file click on new and create whatever you want let's say apex class and you could say hello world and your class will get created and you will see the access modifier is public class is a keyword and this is the name of your class 
that's what you have as part of your apex classes that's how you create into your developer console you could create the variables here as well like you could say a string name by default it is private as we talked about you could say public integer that means this variable can be accessed outside outside of this apex class and if you say global instead of public and then say global then this class can be accessed outside of your salesforce environment depends on the setting you also need to make some changes into your apex class